Hey, what's up, guys? Chunky Monkey 40 here with my updated garage tour. But first, let's try and go for a whole five likes. That'd be awesome. And also, be sure to subscribe if you are new or you like daily Grand Theft Auto 5 videos like this. So, anyway, let's get into the video or my garage tour. So, first, let's start off with the first vehicle, which is the Dinka Enduro, an old time looking motorcycle which came with the Heist DLC update. My favorite, so definitely recommend it to anyone looking for an off-road vehicle. It's probably one of my favorites, that's why I put yellow on it. So anyway, let's start off with the Dubachi Masakro. This is uh, uh, an ultra blue Masakro. It's pretty cool, it's fully customized. I like it. I It's got a nice interior too. I like the decals on it, so that's like one of my favorite parts. So anyway... So anyway, on to the next vehicle, which is the Dinka Ballista Compact. This is one of my favorite vehicles that came with the next generation release. And I got my custom license plate on all these cars, by the way. I forgot to mention that. And yeah, it's pretty cool. I like the red color on it because it matches the interior or the seats. So anyway, on to the next vehicle, which is my Bravado Gauntlet or Panzer. Uh, this I'm not going to spend a lot of time on because I've already covered this in a video which is linked down in the description. It shows the customization of Panzer. It's pretty cool and once again got the custom license plate on there. So it's And it's also hands down my favorite vehicle in the game. And then anyway the Enos Huntley S is the next vehicle. This I never really thought much about until I got the next generation console, the Xbox One. And then I figured out that it was a really nice vehicle because I customized it in story mode first. And I decided to bring it online, so that's really cool. I love that car. Or SUV, I guess you could say. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, on to the next one. It's the Vapid Guardian. This is this thing is just bad. This is awesome. It's got you gotta have a matte black color on this. It's got a nice interior, which I'm going to show you guys right now. Right now. Alright, here we go. <laughs> yeah, it's got a really nice interior. It just looks so tough. It's got, like, they put a lot of detail into this. This is probably one of my favorite cars that came with the Heist DLC. This is It's probably one of the coolest. That's all I could really say. And anyway, on to the next vehicle, which is the Armored Karen Karuma. I got a matte orange on there with a matte black secondary and I also put my crew emblem on the side. It's pretty cool. It's probably another one of my favorites that came with the Heist DLC. It's like, I mean, I want to get the other one, the normal one, the civil, I think it's the unarmored one. Yeah, the unarmored one. It's pretty cool. But anyway, on to the next one, which is the Karen Sultan RS. It's a replica of H2O Delirious. He's a YouTuber. He, you guys can look him up. It'll come right. He'll come right up. But yeah, I, I saw this in one of his videos and I thought it was sweet, so I decided to replicate it. And I've had it ever since. Like I think when I was rank about 100, I think I got it or something. I don't even remember. But yeah, it's really cool. I like it. It's got great handling. I like the interior too. It's really nice. Yeah, it's like I like the yellow color too on it. But only I can't stand like how the Sultan RS part is white that's it it just looks dumb i'm sorry but it looks dumb but anyway on to the next vehicle which is the Invetro coquette it's really cool it's a replica of the corvette one of my favorite cars in real life it's really cool i put a, a dark green uh primary and secondary with a pearlescent of lime green really cool it's got the stock wheels on there but they are bulletproof though and I got the custom bumper. I like. I love the interior on the inside. It just looks amazing, in my opinion. It's probably one of the best interiors in the game, in my opinion. It's really, really good interior. It's calm too. It's just. It's not as strong as the heavy insurgent. I mean, not the heavy insurgent. The vapid guardian one, but it's still pretty cool. Then anyway, onto the final vehicle, which is my Pegasi and Torno. I kind of went for. I don't really know what kind of look I went for. I just went for, at first I had the sec, the primary of just ultra blue with a uh, ice white pearl, uh, ice white pearlescent, which is still there, and a uh, ice white uh, secondary. That was really cool. But anyway, I'm going to end, 
So anyway, that about wraps up the video right there. If you guys want to see a video on how I make my videos with the Upload Studio, let me know in the comment section down below. Also, be sure to check out my good friend Superior Demon 20 His channel is linked in the description.